now we have another great function which is assign okay this is a very great function this assigns the value it's it's analogous to move command in your PLC in PLC if you, if you use PLC so let's see how does it work let's take a bit here this is goes this goes to the input okay this is the output in output I'm going to take an int okay which which is having initially value 0 this is PT1 and PT2 so I'll take two numerical values source 1 and this numerical value will go to PT2 so let's take it 50 49 and let's take it 21 so this assign function says when this assign function is off when there is no input this PT1 will travel to out okay this will be assigned to out this will this value 21 will be assigned to this value but if I turn this on 49 will be assigned to int value so in this case the value will toggle between PT2 and PT1 like that this is the assign function now I'm going to tell you how we can use that where this can be used so let's first increase this value to mm, 10,000 okay this one is 10,000 again now let's take a timer T on T on where is T on there you are now we're going to assign this value to PT okay this is a time for the timer and let's take one more bit a source bit which can be here and an output bit which will be at Q and ET needs some time to monitor so will be here now if this is off as of now so this 21 will pass to out so the process time in that case is not 21 it's two less three seconds and let's say six seconds now if I turn it on and this will move six seconds so let's turn it off first so now right now three seconds is going to the speedy so when I, when I turn this switch on after three seconds output will be on this is on okay now I want to change the time so without changing the programming I'll just plug in this I will just turn on this one now time will change to six seconds because now it's assigning the value 6000 to the out so the timer has become a six second delay timer now if I want to roll back to three seconds just turn it off now it's a three second time delay so that's how you can assign the value to a timer similarly you can assign the value to a counter as well to count okay and the comparison results as well that's how the sign function works okay it's pretty good if you worked if you if you know how to make a logics in process control or in data manipulation and calculations a sign function is very much used all right so if you have any query post a comment below this video Thank you so much.